Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. We had a great morning this morning. We recorded the podcast, which took us <laughs> from 9.30 to 12 o'clock because we just bs before we started recording. So that's that. Um, Jerry and I are out now. We are shopping. I did not go Black Friday shopping. Jerry did. I did not dare go out in that crowd. You can hear all about it on the podcast if you listen to Agamel. We just talked about it, but it's not going up until December 9th we recorded for today. Anywhoosie, I just did a Target pickup. I rushed out the door because I wanted to get out of the house and I told Jerry 12.30 and I was 12.35. That's good enough for me, I'll take that. But I didn't get to do my hair, so she's kind of wonky. It's fine, I washed it yesterday. Um, I did a Target pickup, I got some sourdough bread. Honestly, mostly Christmas gifts for Zane. He wanted towels for tennis, like just like regular hand towels for his sweat. That's really nice, TMI. Look at that little set, it was $10. Very cute. Isn't that cute? And then I got him some undies, boxer briefs. <laughs> and then I got him his body wash from Harry's and I got some seasonings that we needed that I already labeled because I thought we had and we didn't have them. So I have to fill out the jars now. Now you have to. Yeah. Because you have to the jars are waiting. Exactly. <laughs> I also added Alani new energy drinks because they wanted those too and then they canceled them. So I guess they don't have them anymore at Target. So I'll have to order those online. Zane is pretty much done. I got him some other stuff too. You guys will see on Christmas. Okay, we're going into Michael's and Home Goods. Oh, you guys. Party. Look at what I found, you guys. An Oreo gingerbread house. Zane's gonna be so happy. Usually I get two, but I was like, what if I just buy one? Because we don't really eat them anyway. And Jerry was like, why don't you just decorate one side each so we can still have a competition? And now I am excited. And I found 20% off. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Sold. Can't go wrong with Oreo oh. gingerbread house on sale. Well, only the regular gingerbread houses were on sale for $9.99 so kind of a fail I just spent $17 on that and then I looked it up and they're at Walmart for $12 what is going on is this a ski lift oh my god you could sit in it that's hysterical oh my god look at all the Christmas stuff I'm in heaven so for Christmas I got Jerry Dawn soap because she won't buy it for herself because she thinks it's too expensive so I'm getting her a soap dispenser, so I'm trying to find one of those. That would actually be nice. And I'm getting a new one of these because mine's blue and it's old and I like this one. Yay, $2.99. Oh, it's got the sponge holder, that's cute. Oh wait, put your hand under it. Oh yes, 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 she needs that. And I want an organizer for like a new one for the silverware. Not those though, I don't like those. Okay, next thing that I came for is the dog waste bags. We're using for the cat litter. They have like biodegradable ones that we like to use. Literally, I kid you not, you guys, we bought a pack like this. I think it was like two years ago and we just ran out. Like they last forever. I'm just gonna, I don't see the brand we got last time, so I'll just get something else. But the only thing is they're a little small because they're for dog poop, not cat litter. And cat litter is craziness, especially with three cats. So we use two at a time. Sometimes, depends, but yeah. Okay, we'll pick one of these. Bird's bees for dogs. That's so cute. <laughs> Common shampoo. Oh, so Baby cute. Shampoo. <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> All right, we have to pick up Aaliyah from school. We don't have time to go to the other stores before we do that, so we decided to stop for lunch, and then we'll pick her up and go shopping more. So I got a broccoli white slice. We're gonna share this alavaca with hot honey and pepperoni. What are these called? I don't, I don't know. Mozzarella, tomato, and roasted red peppers and basil. Of course it's cherry fair. That sounds amazing. I copied her. And then we didn't order that, but we got it. Pepperoni roll. Okay, yeah. sure. Okay. <laughs> sounds fantastic. Sounds great. We've acquired Aaliyah, and now we are at Everything Christmas. Okay. It's a little pop- she said, hey! <laughs> it's a little pop-up store, so we're gonna look at the Christmas stuff. So this used to be- this was the New York Company, wasn't it? Looks cute. Aww. Wow. Elf on the shelf, Aaliyah! Remember when we yeah. used to do those? Over there. <laughs> it was her favorite. Oh my god, how much? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Oh, $16.99, same. Walmart has it for 12 <laughs> Look, you would love this. Look, a door cover. Yeah, look at the size. Why do they do this to me? What? Your door is smaller? Doors are bigger than 5 feet tall. 60 is only 5 feet tall. Oh. So when you put this on your door, you have that much on top and that much on the bottom. Oh, yes. that's annoying. It's only three dollars though. And it's for a half a door. <laughs> <laughs> you could like get two and like layer them. Oh, that's annoying. I didn't even know that. Look what they have. Oh, you have to, Alyssa. Oh, you don't call my now, dad's though. name. I know, but he'll probably want it with his name on it. No. That's adorable. Do they have ever by slim chance? Ever. No. Frank. Jack. Oh. Gary. Eric. Gary. Eric. Greg. Doug. 
Dick. <laughs> How funny is this, you guys? Sorry, they didn't have your name. <laughs> I'll get these for them matching. They would love it. Unless... Oh my god, it's Aaliyah. <gasps> Aaliyah! Wow, it's so cute and pink. Just what I wanted. <laughs> Just what you wanted. Should I get... When I have a baby, then I'll get you an ant keychain? You should reveal it to me by like getting me like an ant A keychain? Yeah. Okay, noted. Yeah. I can make that happen. Yeah. So, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> should I get a blank one and you could cricket his name on it? Ever. Look. Or what if it gets wet and stuff? Or just get him the best dad? Because they have a blank one. What do you think? Or, sorry they didn't have your name. Is that funny? Like, I don't like that. I feel like I best dad is nicer. Ten bucks? Best dad's fine. The best dad would be your dad. It's cute. He's a stepdad. They have my dad's name though. You think I should have both best dads? What do you think? The plain one and I'll pick it every name on there. Can you do that? Yeah. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah, I mean it'll be different, but it'll be the same. Actually, this looks like that yellow stuff that's on the mailman thing. It actually does, like it looks pretty exact. exact. So if I put that color on there. I just feel like bad making you do that work and it's not even going to be your gift. Oh my god, all that work? <laughs> okay, fine, then fine. If you're down for it, then sure. How cute is that little TV? I love that. Also, I think I'm deciding against these because who uses these anymore? Nobody really reaches for these. You're going to sit in the drawer and collect dust. You're right. That's what's going to happen. So forget it. Look what I got. What is this? <gasps> no way. <laughs> Dana! No, this is gonna be fire. And I know we usually do Crazy. two and have a competition, but we're gonna split down the middle. You'll do one side and I'll do the other. Yeah, that sounds great. And this is gonna taste way better. I know, you love Oreos. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm excited. I got, look, this, this too. A new food cover. For what? Because it's aesthetically pleasing. Oh, like for the oven? Or microwave. Yeah, instead of the blue one. And then for your mom's Dawn soap, I got her an automatic one. You put your hand under it. Oh, that's fun. That's cute. Yeah. That's funny. That's funny and cute. What else did I get? Oh, more poop bags. Oh, good. Yeah. Just running out. Yep. Now we're stacked for like another two years. <laughs> Literally, that's what I said. I'm like, I haven't bought them in two years. What a nice investment. They're all two bucks too, right? Uh, yep. Eight dollars? Yeah, for like lasts forever. Years. I know. Also, something fun we just got in the mail. New lights. It's finally not gonna be dark like a dungeon in here. We turned them on really quick. Well, literally, literally the other day. Well, that one was broken. Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't make <laughs> the other day, we both went to turn on the lights. Yeah. We're like, oh, let's turn the lights on. But they were, <laughs> it's just so dark in here. It's so, crazy. Yeah, I'm excited. Zane's gonna switch them out. Oh, I got lemon pepper and rosemary. Those are the seasonings I got. More Amazon packages just came in the mail. It's the holiday season. <laughs> This is definitely all Christmas presents, but I'll see what I can show. What do we got here? Oh my god, this is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. What is it? <laughs> that's what you see. Look at this! Oh, that's the, the printer thing. I thought it was gonna be like handheld. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, no, I look handheld. Dad, if you're watching, look away. Actually, I won't show this yet. I'll wait till Christmas. Oh, look what else we got. That's why this box is so heavy. We got our door handle. Our door handle broke on our screen door. Mr. Fix It All, you're gonna do the light and the door handle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yay! What else we got in here? It's like a goodie box. <gasps> we got our night lights, babe. Oh, yeah, you got a new one? I got night lights that you plug in the wall. Actually, my sister inspired me to do this at her apartment. She had a um, night light in the bathroom. A night light in the bathroom, English. That lit up when you walked into it at nighttime. I thought it was so nice because you don't have to like have that bright light in your eyes when it's the middle of the night. And this one is motion sensored. You plug it in. So we'll try those out. What else we got in here? Oh! Ever doesn't watch my videos. I got Ever the toolkit that he wanted. Not exciting to me, but he loves it. <laughs> Dude, we're killing it with Christmas this year. Yeah, we're gonna be done so early, which is nice. Yeah, we're, yeah, it is nice because then I can do like gift videos and like show what I got everyone before I wrap. And then like I'll wrap with me, like literally wrap it all at once. Usually I wrap things little by little. I still have to go get my wrapping paper. I'm waiting for Nat. I told her it would be our tradition because we went last year uh -huh. to go get my paper together because she thinks I'm ridiculous. My cousin thinks I'm ridiculous for getting the expensive wrapping paper from Home Goods. She's like, just get the dollar store one. But I told her, I'm like, now it's a tradition. Now you're gonna have to come with me every year because you just hate it so much. I need to make you come with me. So we're gonna go Christmas shopping. She's in Spain right now though. So when she comes back, what else we got? When is cardboard day? They're gonna be really happy with us. Um, it's either this Wednesday or next Wednesday. Ooh. Wait, what is this? <gasps> I got my spice drawer thing, babe. Which 
for the drawer for my spices. Oh. The little acrylic organizer. And then we also got, look what else I got. Are you talking about inkpot? Yeah. What do we get? Oh, shit. This is a plug-in burner for some projects I'm doing. Oh my god, we're getting all the goodies. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do the spices that I labeled and I thought I had, but I didn't. Rosemary and lemon pepper, which I do love lemon pepper, so I'm glad that I got some. Is this the right thing that I was thinking though? I guess so. The one we had last time was different. I do wanna find a place too to get bagged spices so I don't keep reusing these jars but i am recycling them don't worry they're going into the recycling i'll throwing them away but it definitely would be better to find bags so i need to look into that i've noticed too that some of these um like the things that they came with they're this hello i'm noticing too that some of these for the spice the things that they came with the holes are too small so i've been keeping the ones that come with it if it's bigger and that fits right on top of here so that's helpful So I just put the other top that came with it so that it is easily pourable. Actually, I need to switch the crushed red pepper. I had a hard time getting out. And I saved the other tops. There they are. <laughs> this one smells like red pepper. Perfect. Another one was the chives. It's also having a hard time coming out. Switch a Rooney. Living with you, babe. Is it baby? Just, just doing the lights and just filling some spices. Yeah. Lemon pepper. Okay. Now these extra ones can just go right in here. I also ordered more containers because I needed more, so I got one more pack. Um, so we'll put more spices in there. And I found that they sell canisters. Like they look like the spice ones that I got, but big for like flour and sugar and stuff like that. So I ordered those too. It's just things like that that make me happy. Wow, this is a great vlogging shelf. Why have I never used this? That's amazing. I'm gonna make more TikToks. I think now I'm gonna do the drawer and film that. And then I also wanna do a TikTok on the canisters. I did my spices and did really well. Literally as of now, it has like over 300,000 views. So, and I really enjoyed making it. So that's like fun for me. Like I like the ASMR vibe. I think it's relaxing and fun to make. So I'm happy about it. Gotta give the people what they want. Next up are these LED lights. We're just being such house people today. I got two of them. I ordered some and then quickly realized they just went on when it was dark in the room instead of motion sensored, which is what we want. We don't want it on all night. So let's go plug this in and see. Definitely want one in the bathroom. Hello? Oh, is that on auto? I put it on auto. So when I walk in, it'll go on. No? Bella, they have every water source in the world, but she wants the sink. I literally just plug it and then fill it for her, and she loves it. This looks like a scary movie with the way I have the light in the dark. Enjoy. Why isn't this light turning on, though? Okay, let me look at the box. Motion is detected within 4.5 meters and turns off after 20 seconds with no activity. What? Let me take this light off. Maybe that's affecting it. <gasps> it turned on while you guys were in here! <gasps> You guys will have a night light. Oh, it worked. Okay. You guys enjoying this? I'm gonna put the other one in our bedroom because then when I get up to walk, it'll turn on and give me some pathway to light because it's always super dark in our bedroom. Look, it's already freaking dark outside. It's like 4.30. Uh-huh. Look at that, it lights my face. That's good, that's good. Looks good, that's all we need. Now it'll turn off after 20 seconds of no activity. Let's see, don't look at our mess. Oh, babe, it works. Nice. Look, I walked towards it and it went on. Oh my God, I love it. So that means when I come back from the bathroom, it'll turn on. Okay, I think we need another one for the hallway. <laughs> we need one for in here. I don't think there's anywhere that I could plug it in though. That would be useful. Maybe by that wall when the tree's gone. If we had one in this hallway, that would be nice too. Let's test the bathroom one more time. Is it still on? <gasps> Look, it turned on when I walked in. That's so nice, huh? It's like the perfect warm light too. I love it, Bells. Oh no. <laughs> so he just went through so much work to get that on and he ordered the wrong color. <laughs> oh, rookie mistake. <laughs> no. 
way. These are like white, bright, and that's there like warm no yellow. Wait, put it up towards the ceiling. Let me see. Maybe we can mix bowl. No, no, no. There's no way. How did this happen? The lights that we have now? The new lights. <laughs> what happened? All right, we'll have to return them and buy I ones. literally ordered the same exact ones we ordered. They must have changed... The coloring? The whatever. Yeah, I'm checking right now. It's the same exact ones we ordered. I can't believe I just went through all that for nothing. Oh, that sucks. Alrighty guys, time just got away from me. I was helping Zane put the handle on the door. We got the new handle on and I was just like organizing some things, posting on Instagram and stuff like that. So, I'm gonna do the spice stuff later, I think, possibly, we'll see. Um, but I just got ready. I'm heading out to Zumba right now. I need to go right now. So I'm gonna show you my little outfit of the night for Zumba. Um, I'm wearing my new leggings from Guess. They are so cool. I feel like Catwoman in them. I love them. They just remind me of whiskers. <laughs> I know they're not. They're just stripes, but they're cool. Um, and then I'm wearing a little tank top from Forever 21. I end up taking this off, but for now it's freezing, so I need to start with this on. Uh, this jacket is from Fabletics. And my Nike sneakers. My hair's going to go up, but I'm not doing it right now. We're going to do it when we get there. And then I wear my little Zumba skirt. I'm not going to film it, but I will see you guys when I get back from the gym. Mwah. Okay, I'm home. I'm filming a TikTok, so I forgot to pick you guys up. I'm so sorry. I am unboxing my organizer for the drawers for the spices. So it's just like an acrylic um, kind of shelving thing that's going to hold all the spices on it. So I'm just opening that up right now. We are ASMRing it on TikTok. It's very satisfying with all the noises. So we're going to go ahead and finish up. Um, opening this up i looked at home goods today for a holder that i would like for the forks and knives and stuff because that's what that's what drawer i'm taking over with the spices um i didn't find one so i'm gonna order one i want like a wood one probably so i'll order that on amazon and then i also want to order the labels for like the sugar and flour and stuff like that so yeah I just need to figure out what drawer I'm going to put the forks and knives and stuff in and then I'll measure it and buy one that's appropriate. So I guess it's kind of good that I didn't buy one today because I don't even know how big I want it to be anyway. Okay, um, let's finish this. I'm going to change the angle so I'm going to get my tripod and put my phone like above me. I'm going to use the back camera so that it's better quality and I'm actually going to bring it down. Actually, I can be even more extra put it right between my legs mm -hmm. that way i can do it i can see it oh lovely okay here we go oh my table's dirty okay now we go Rubber bands. I love saving rubber bands. <laughs> now I gotta empty that drawer. That's what we're not gonna show on TikTok. So I'll vlog that for you guys. We have to take everything out. Where am I gonna put this? In here we have the measuring stuff. This one is my knives. And the real question is what are we gonna put in that cabinet? We will figure this out. First, I guess we just take it all out. <laughs> and hope for the best. These things can go in where those wood things are, I think. And then, what? Bailey? Bailey? What? What? Tell me. What? You just wanted to show me that you're so cool on top of your thing? I just hear you squeaking over here. Have fun. Look, Benji's coming to hang out with you. Maybe I can move, this is like oven mitts. Maybe I can move these somewhere else, like up in the cabinet. Hmm, okay. This is the organizer that I have. I just wanna get a nice, nicer one. That one actually was supposed to be temporary and then we ended up keeping it. It's fine, it's just regular white plastic, but I do have this drawer lined. What is back here? Oh, this is my sushi mat. Oh, look at these things. Forgot I even owned this. Actually, it's hard plastic though. Oh my god, but I was looking for something like this today. Okay, noted. Oh, that one's like melted. We can get rid of that one. All right, we're gonna clean this drawer out and then get the spices in here.
Do you have, oh, you don't have that. I don't think this is practical. Why? Why not? Because these you can't get to. So put the, the ones that you don't normally use. Yeah, but I also ordered 10 more. Yeah, well, the 10 more is chalk. There's no way that'll work. But this is perfect. Okay. This is literally all the seasonings we use the most. That was really cool. It looks pretty. How is it not practical? We still have more These, seasonings. These, we're going to have to find a different spot for them. Like, keep some These aren't even, faster. like, hard to get to, though. Like, even... If you move one out of the way, you can grab it. Yeah. Two seconds. And, like, we don't... Not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other 10 that you're getting, not I sure what you're going to do. You have all those extra seasonings up there anyway, so you just could just put them, them and, yeah, and then just right. keep them away. Because yeah. it's like if they're up there in that container or the new containers, it doesn't make a difference. Right. Um, it looks nice, huh? And that, that's nice. You can even keep that out over yeah. there or on the uh, top of the stove, whatever right. you think is best. Right. There you go. Amazing. You like the way it looks? Yeah, it looks like a store. It looks so nice. Love it. What am I gonna do with our knives and forks and shit though? I'm like stressed. I don't even know if I should keep it like this. You got this, I believe. Okay, here's the situation. It looks beautiful. It's so cool. The only thing is I can't fit two of them in here. I can only fit this many. Um, the back row is definitely annoying to get to, but it's seasonings that we don't use all the time. So like really, if I needed something, I can just go like this and then take this one out. Kind of annoying, but I can get to it. I just feel like it doesn't make sense because we don't have a lot more drawer space for like our forks and knives and stuff. And now I have this empty thing. Um, I can keep all of the extras up here, which is nice. Like the backups to refill those, but like, what am I going to do with this? We're gonna have to make something work, you guys. We are gonna have to make it work. I do feel like my setup was perfect, but like, this is just like a dream. Like, I really want to make this work, so. Also, I think I bought two sets. <laughs> I have like so much more here. Oh, that's cute. These are for like little mini seasonings. That's adorable. I don't have those, um, but I have extras here, but I will save these for when we move into a house where I have a lot more drawer space because I bought them anyway, so I might as well keep them. It is satisfying. Okay, I have some thinking to do. I'll let you guys know how I rearrange everything and we have to cook dinner, so I'll come back when we do that. All right, I recruited some help from Zane. Here's what I think I finally decided on. I wanna keep the knives in there. This is our um, measuring stuff. And then I put the tongs in here. I left the spices in here. I was like, I wanna move it back. I don't know, I feel like it's not practical. And Zane was like, you'll make it work. And then over here, we can keep our utensils and our um, food scale. I'm just going to buy a new utensil organizer or subject to change. I can put the utensils in here and then measuring stuff in here. This is just more practical because this is like normal size that these organizers come in over here. I would have to do like separate bins, like four separate bins for forks, knives, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, that's how I have it for right now. Now I'm taking everything out of here. I think I'm just going to leave the oven mitts right there for now. Maybe I'll add another like stacking shelf so that we can put more stuff in there. But I feel like I made extra room somehow by adding more stuff in these drawers. I don't know how that happened. Um, I guess because I made everything that was in these drawers condense. This was just oven mitts. So this drawer was kind of just like empty space. It was just literally just a few oven mitts and some tools for the barbecue. So I am now taking everything down. I'm gonna put this shelf up there and organize our back stock of seasonings so that I can fill these seasonings. This is all stuff we've just had. So let's do that. I'm just cleaning. I'm just wiping down the seasoning shelf. It's gotten a little dirty. Oh my god, this drawer with the seasonings is so heavy now. Mm. We're gonna call that good enough. We need to take the rest of this stuff down. We have so much salt. I don't know why I buy salt every time I go to the store. Like, that is unnecessary. We do go through, we do go through it quickly, but we don't need that much. Actually, my sister gave me one of those. I can't lie, so that's not terrible. I only had two. Whoa, this is like coarse salt that we put in like our little pincher. Almost empty, I should buy another one. We have so much garlic salt because I put it on subscribe and save on Amazon and then just, it, uh, too many came. <laughs> okay, this is gonna go up here. Actually, I should wipe the shelf down. <sighs> okay, now it's gonna go up here. Tell me if it doesn't, oh, if it's perfect. Okay, <laughs> extra seasonings going in i want to put tahine in one of those things but that's fine okay i mean i can actually i bought more but we just need to label it i could also put my cookbooks down here instead of on top of the fridge let me see what that looks like because maybe i could fit the oven mitts on top of the books and then it'll all fit in there 
These can go under by the oil. This is menus. Can this cabinet hold all of this? My dad put it up. I think it'll hold the weight. Oh no. Oh, I put them the other way too. That makes more sense, right? Or no, this way. Don't look in this. This is secret. Secret. <sighs> Here's what that looks like, and then I can put the oven mitts that way, or I want to see what the books look like this way. Let me see if I can angle you guys so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, that kind of works. <laughs> Let me see what they look like the other way. Ooh, that looks nice. Ooh, girl! <laughs> that look nice! I could put a bookend, maybe. I could put my menus in here. Oven mitts. But then everything's gonna come down, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's make this usable. Menus here. Oh, that looks better. Okay, do I need a million oven mitts? No, but look at that. Okay, that looks good. So these are like extra oven mitts. I probably honestly could get rid of these. We'll see. But I have the one that we use all the time and then this one we use to like put hot pans on. We just use these two items a lot so I can keep them right there. Practical. This is actually really nice. I feel like this is gonna make me wanna use my cookbooks more. And then there's some extra ones here. Look at the top. That looks nice. All the extra seasonings. There's some that I still want to put in containers. I have another pack coming, but I'm going to have to keep them up there, but it'll look fine. And then we have our spray oils. I'm, we're just going to use this one up, but I'm switching to this one. I just think it's better. But these, we can honestly keep them here if we want to, or we can put them down by the spray. I'm going to leave them there for now because that's where we usually keep them. Okay, interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, I just showed Zane the organization and he likes it. So we're going to go with it. It's going to take some... He loves it, he said. I love it. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. We're gonna go in this drawer a lot to get a fork and a spoon, but like, how often do you reach for that? Max three times a day when you eat a meal, you know? Maybe four, maybe five. Now we'll just be over here. I can't wait to get a new organizer. So now I can get one because this drawer isn't a normal size, that one is, so I can get a regular organizer. Okay, I'm gonna order that on Amazon, and I think this is gonna be really practical because seasonings are here while I'm cooking. This is the area I cook in, and then measuring stuff. Um, so I'm excited about it now. I was a little stressed, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, where am I gonna fit all of this stuff? But we made it work. Any Z, for dinner tonight, I think we're gonna do burgers and sweet potato fries in the air fryer. Simple, easy, delicious, and it's just ingredients that we have. So let's go ahead and make that together. First things first, I just washed off my sweet potatoes. My light is dying, sorry if it gets dark. Um, and now I'm just gonna chop them up into fry-like shapes. Ugh! Sweet potatoes are so hard. <laughs> and I'm just gonna slice. I am gonna toss these in oil and seasoning, so I'm just gonna start putting them in a bowl. Here we go. Yesterday was, what was yesterday? Our Sunday cleaning, right? Yes, okay, I'm like, am I wearing nuts? Yesterday was our Sunday cleaning. I filmed it a little differently. I did it like ASMR-ish. I haven't uploaded it yet while I'm filming this, so I'm uploading it tomorrow, so I don't know how you guys felt about it, but we had such a nice day and I feel like it captured more of what we do instead of just like quick time lapses. I feel like I could be a little more intimate, if you will, but with dinner tonight, we're gonna finish watching. I fell asleep on an episode of You, but oh my God, it's just so nice to relax on the couch with a nice dinner and watch a TV show and I'm so excited to do that again tonight. So if you don't follow me over there, I know I have been posting the Sunday cleanings on here, but I didn't post that one because well, I'm not going to post that one. I didn't do anything yet. I can't believe I'm like pretty much done shopping for Christmas. I'm very excited about it. Now it's just like fun little things that if I see and it reminds me of someone, I'll buy. And now I have ample amount of time to make a gift guide and a what I got my family for Christmas. I'm just gonna have to trust that my family doesn't watch it i don't think they would if i told them not to this is gonna be a lot maybe i might have to make this in two batches zumba was so good also i had so much fun by the way class was packed randomly like the class will just be packed it was like just a random monday night but sometimes monday nights will be super slow but today was like i tried to count my teacher asked me to count for her and it, it's hard while i was dancing but i think there was like 30 people in there which is a lot so like the vibes were just right and I left with like so much energy. I was like, wow, I feel like I took pre-workout. So it definitely boosted my mood a lot. It was fun. And that pizza that we had today was wow. That broccoli slice that I got, it had like regatta and mozzarella on it. It was divine. Can't go wrong with Long Island pizza. It's just the best. Okay, some olive oil going in here. 
whoa, definitely helps crisp them up in the air fryer. And now I'm gonna go into my seasonings drawer. What are we gonna do here? Okay, you already know we're doing some garlic powder. Oh, this is nice, because then I'll just close them and put them away. It won't like, be a mess on the counter. That's a life hack. Okay, some onion powder, some paprika. The salt and pepper, unfortunately, did not fit in the drawer, but I'm feeling right, right now that would have been helpful. So I might put some seasonings up top that I don't reach for a lot, just so that I can have salt and pepper right here. I think that would be actually really smart of me. So we'll learn as we go, as we use the kitchen, we'll figure that out. That was a lot of pepper, oops. Now I'm gonna get my tongs that are in here, I'm already learning, and toss these babies up. Is that all that I wanna put on here? What else should I put? Hmm. <laughs> I just wanna use my spice drawer, I think. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of rosemary for fun because I just bought it. Oh, I can't make use lemon pepper seasoning on chicken. Oh. Chicken thighs with lemon pepper, yes ma'am. All right, and there's our sweet potato fries. Yeah, we're gonna put them in the air fryer. Again, you guys obviously excuse us on the lights. You saw today, we got the wrong ones. So the new ones are coming in a few days. At first it did say halfway through December and I panicked a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, how am I gonna go in the darkness? Like, look at this. <laughs> It's so dark in here, um, but then it updated and it said it's gonna come in a few days, so that's amazing. I'm gonna spray the air fryer basket with some olive oil and we're gonna put the fries in. They definitely will cook better, faster, more evenly if I don't overcrowd it, so I'm gonna do half a batch at a time. I'm gonna put them on 400 for probably like 10 minutes. I'm gonna flip them halfway. Okay, just don't ask questions. You'll know eventually, but I got a plug-in burner. And we're gonna test it out today to make sure that I like it slash wanna keep it. Even though I have a whole stove, I know it doesn't make sense. I promise it will one day next year. Let me wipe it down really quick. Okay. I might end up using this more often than I think. It's kind of cool. I can sit down and cook. <laughs> okay, let's see how do I do this. Menu on. Menu. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. She makes noises. Okay, I would assume 800 is low, medium, and then, whoa, super high, okay. Wow, it's already getting hot. Okay, well obviously I wanna make burgers, so I want it to be pretty hot. We'll start at 1,000, okay. <laughs> Probably should read the instructions too. I put oil on the pan, we're letting it heat up. I'm just gonna form the burgers on this plate. Zayn and I like to do balls and then smush them like Shake Shack. Okay, beautiful. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we'll season them. Okay, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. I'm just gonna flip them and season the other side. Salt comes out first. Then we're gonna go over to our pan. It feels like it's hot. Is it too hot? I don't know. I could go get the box and read the instructions, but we're just going for it. We're on power 1000. I've got this really cute little burger smasher. It's from the dollar store. And we're gonna start. That sounds right. And smash it. You also could use the back of a spatula too. I just find that this little gadget is fun. All right, so we'll put those, flip them. I'm gonna go switch out the potatoes. Beautiful. How are we doing here? I just went in the wrong drawer. It's good. Okay. You already know we got the potato buns. Just set them up. Oh, there's just nothing like it. And I need to drink more water today. I have been so good. Not today. If I'm not peeing every five minutes, I don't want it. Just kidding. That was exaggeration. Yesterday I meal prepped some fresh cheddar cheese so you already know that's getting melted right on top. Yep. Here is the burger. We're gonna pile it high. I like mine with lots of goodies on it so I just sliced up some red onion. 100%. And then I don't have Roma tomatoes, so we did cherry tomatoes and just sliced one up. It's fine. Same concept. Then we've got banana peppers. Okay. Spinach, my favorite. I love arugula. 
Yes, ma'am. I'm going to do some mayo and some ketchup. I want to make a sauce for these fries, like a sweet mayo sauce or something one day. Yeah? I'm going to try that. Yeah. Um, yum. That looks great. Second round of fries are done. I'm just going to keep them in the air fryer. They'll stay warm in there. Got all our toppings on. Looks so yummy. Yum. And just finishing off the last little burgers. And we're going to enjoy you. You. Not me. <laughs> you? Usually Zane makes the burgers. I've got faith in you. Are you kidding? So let's see. They're going to be amazing. You think? They smell so good. I put lots of goodies on here. Mmm. I feel like we haven't had burgers in a while. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. They're good. So good. I put so much stuff on top I can't really taste it that much. Mmm. <laughs> Just a great burger, man. Nothing more, nothing less, you know? I think homemade burgers are so much better, and they're not even difficult. You just make the ground beef into a patty. Yeah, right? We used to buy frozen. Sorry, that's rude. But this is better. Okay, we're gonna finish watching you. I fell asleep last night. Check it out, guys. Ready? Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that is so cool. Do you know how helpful this is gonna be when I have to pee? Or for right now, like when the light's not on yet? Wow. I literally think that I am gonna buy like another pack of them because now I want one in the kitchen and I want one in the living room. I want them everywhere. We don't have that many rooms, so I'll probably just only buy one more pack. I'm in my PJs now. I'm in my chinchilla set our Christmas PJs from this year, which is crazy because it feels like we've done so much Christmas stuff already and it's only the end of November. At least not, not even December yet. I feel so good though today, you guys. Let me take off my watch. I have fallen asleep with my watch on a few times, but luckily I catch it like in the middle of the night and I put it on there. I kind of made a mess of our bedroom today, but that's fine. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. I feel like today was such an ideal day for me. Like what a good Monday. I love Mondays. Can we change the narrative? Let's love Mondays. <laughs> I love being productive and Monday's such a good day to be productive. Um, I got work done today. I went shopping today. I got Christmas stuff done. I cooked a delicious dinner. I did organizing. I vlogged. I filmed a TikTok. What else did I do? <laughs> I'm looking at my notes. I did my Italian lesson. I posted on Agamil podcast. I need to post on, on my Instagram though. I've been slacking a little bit. I need to take pictures for that. That needs to happen actually like ASAP. Yeah, I just did like all my favorite things today. Dinner was so good. I really like my little stove top thing. I love the way the spices are organized. Like when I cooked today, it was so peaceful. I actually moved two seasonings out that I don't use often and I put the salt and pepper there so that I can easily use it while I'm cooking. Oh, I just loved it. Little changes like that make stuff like so much more fun. Now I'm really excited to get my containers for the sugar and stuff. You guys just wait. Anyways, tomorrow's Tuesday on the agenda. I'm going to edit this vlog and then possibly get it up or maybe the next day because I also want to upload TikTok and I have Zumba and did my garland fall? I see it. one above the couch. Tomorrow I have Zumba and then The Bachelorette is on and I have some miscellaneous stuff that I want to do too. Oh, You is so good also, by the way. That's another thing I did today. I got to watch my show. I feel like the days that I have time to watch my show is like a good day. I'm sure so many of you are like, I finished that so long ago, but Zane and I have to find time to sit down together, you know? But it just ended off the night, right? Don't spoil anything for me. I think we still have like a good four or five episodes. Now I have my waffle. I'm gonna enjoy it. Take off my makeup, get ready for bed. And I'm hitting the hay. I'm in bed before midnight too. It's 11, 18. That's good. Tomorrow, I don't have to be up or anything. We were going to record the podcast, but we're not. We're recording at the end of the week. We're going to record it with Zane. This morning, we tried to record with him, and then our wire ended up being broken. I think I explained this already earlier, so we're waiting for that to come in the mail. So we're going to record at the end of the week. So I don't have to be up for the podcast. My gym class is later at night. It's not in the morning. And tomorrow, I just have to edit and relax. So I don't have to set an alarm, even though my body will just wake up at 8.30 automatically. But do you guys even listen to these rants at the end of the vlogs? Are you bored of them? It's like my time to like... I don't want to say word vomit because that sounds nasty, but like just get all of my thoughts out to you guys. This is the time. The bed chat. Wow, good stuff today. All of the gifts are piling up under the Christmas tree with no wrapping. I'm just like stacking them there. Zanes are in bags so that he can't see what they are. I love the nightlights that we got too. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm looking at my garland, really upset. What happened? I'm going to order the labels for my jars so that when they come, we can do them. Ooh. And I need to do more decluttering. I think next Sunday I'm going to do clothes. I'm feeling the vibes of organizing, making things the way that I want. Even if it just started with the stupid spices, it makes me feel better. 
and I'm happy about it. Minimizing and making things simpler makes me happy. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. It's insane.